multi-agent AI systems used to require NNN, Python, and a lot of complex workflows. But now, thanks to Lovable, we can do this all in just a few prompts. We are going to build a team of five AI agents, all for YouTube content creation. Each agent has a job, they can work together, share data, and the best thing is, they get better over time. And after using Lovable for a while now, this is absolutely the best thing that they have dropped yet. So here's my promise to you. At the end of this video, you will see a live demo of all these AI agents working together and you will know exactly how you can do this for yourself as well. Okay, so Lovable just got really good and that's because it has introduced Lovable Cloud. And basically how you should see this is instead of hosting your functions in Superbase, Lovable now takes care of everything. And Lovable AI now makes it really simple to add AI agents to our apps. Okay, so we are going to create an AI agent team of five AI agents. But before doing that, I created one prompt that we'll use as our first input. And after inputting that, I will show you exactly how I went from this prompt to a multi-agent system. Let me now show you the prompt. So it says, let's create an app called Brand Lab. And this was an idea that me and some friends had. We didn't push it through, but it's now very simple to actually build it. So we have a few AI agents. The first one is a YouTube channel scraper from API-Fi. And API-Fi is basically one platform that has a lot of different API connections. So connecting to YouTube, connecting to Instagram, connecting to TikTok, connecting to everything that you can think about is possible with API Find. We'll then have a trend research agent, which uses web search and analysis. We then have a script writer agent and it uses proven script writing techniques, good hooks, storylines, and make sure that everything flows. We have our thumbnail generator agent and it will just make sketches about the thumbnails. It won't create the actual thumbnails because AI is just not good enough for that yet. And we then have our SEO optimizer agent. So we have these five AI agents and they work together and they actually create ideas and scripts for our new YouTube videos based on our channel. So everything will be displayed in our content dashboard and we can see live what is happening. And we can then also accept or reject ideas and based on that, the agent will learn. So that's basically it. We then only needed to give the API file docs. So that is coming from API file. And we have this YouTube scraper. And API Fi is really great for this. We have our API Fi store with over 7,000 API Fi actors. So we have a TikTok scraper, a Google Maps scraper, Instagram, Twitter, everything. And we can very simply connect those to our new lovable agents. So what I did is I provided it the documentation. And how you get this documentation is you go to actors, we'll then go to YouTube scraper, and we can just use our API here, API clients, and we can then copy this and put it in. And this is the only external integration that we'll use. All the agent stuff is already taken care of by Lovable. We have given it the input and the output coming from the API file actor, and that's it. So we'll now copy paste this, and we can then go to Lovable, and in here we can just paste it. So that's what I will do right now. And after that, I will get you through everything, every step that I've took to create an actual app. So let's put it in here. So very quickly, if you are enjoying my video, please like and subscribe because I will be putting out a lot of more content like this. And believe me, you don't want to miss where this is going with AI. So it all started with this prompt. And basically what it then did is it already understood everything it needed to do. So as you can see here, it recognized that we needed to enable cloud for this because obviously we are using a lot of backend functionalities here. So we then just said, okay, enable that, we approve it. And then it recognized that we are creating a multi-agent system. So it needed to enable AI as well. So we said, okay, fine, approved. It also saw that we are using an external service like API Fi. So it asked us to give our API Fi API key. I will very quickly show it to you. You go to API Fi on your actor, you have API here, you go API clients, you click on this button here and you have your API key copied. You can then just give it to Lovable and that's all. Now that we have activated everything we need for it, it now starts to think about the table structures and it created a table for the content ideas and we didn't even look at this. Okay, we need another table as well and I'm just approving everything here. As you can see, I'm not asking anything. It already knew what to do and I'm just approving everything. So now was the point where it actually started to build the app. So it was creating Brand Lab and it added authentication, working immediately, it created the content dashboard, it created five AI agents and it created content cards so we can accept or reject a content idea. And basically all of this was already working fine, but we got some errors. And this is the only thing that you now need to understand. You will start to test out your AI agent and it can happen that it runs into an error. And the thing that you need to do is you need to go here to the cloud button and it will open this screen. So we can now click here, we can see our database, we have our users, 
we have our storage for files, for example, and we have edge functions. And this is where the magic happens because our edge functions are basically all of our agents listed down here. And this is different than NNN. In NNN, you have this drag and drop interface, but this is our new interface. So we can see where it's failing, what the errors are. So for example, I will run it in a second. If we are running into an error, we can just see that here. We have our success rate. And if something fails, we can click on it. We can say few logs and we can just copy paste the logs. So that is really simple. You would just get the logs here and just provide it to it. So it now actually understood where the errors were coming from. And the way we debug this is we are not even debugging ourselves. We are just copy pasting errors. And good to know is that it can already look up the errors itself, but I still copy paste it myself because I think that works just a little bit better. And what was happening here is it was seeing the issues. It was fixing it. We now had the actual stuff working. And what we needed to do is we just needed to look in the output. So for example, these ideas really didn't fit my channel. So I was just saying, hey, I don't think it's quite working. Please fix. And we did that for two times. And then we basically started to fix the front end. So I think we needed five prompts, just a little bit debugging. And we then just had five AI agents working together in a completely perfect way. So this was really mind blowing. I didn't look at the code. I really didn't understand the errors. I didn't even look at them and it just fixed it. So we then were doing some front end work and we got this. Okay, so let's now test this out. So we have this button here and here and we can now just say generate content. So when we come here, we see that we need to add our YouTube channel URL. So I have my channel here, I can copy paste it here and that's everything we need to do. And it will now research which videos we're doing the best, what subjects I'm covering on my YouTube channel and based on that, it will come up with original ideas. So I will just click generate content and as you can see here, it shows that the YouTube scraper is now working. It's looking into my channel and this is actually mind blowing because how cool is this? We can see which agent does what. It found 10 videos and it's now trend researching towards new videos based on my existing ones. Perfect, we now have the script writer. So it's now writing a compelling script. We are now generating three different thumbnails. And as you can see, this was one minute ago. This was less than one minute ago. So it's going super quick. You can actually put this behind the paywall and you just got a working product. So we got an SEO optimizer, perfect. And these titles, I'm not quite a big fan, but as you can see here, it really understands my content though, because we are showing some AI agent interfaces, the lovable cloud dashboard. So it really understands what kind of content I'm building. And we can now just scroll through this, see if we have some ideas from this. And we see the sketches now. So for example, a split screen here, a lot of screens here, or someone whose mind is getting blown. And obviously there is still some work to improve. But when we go here, I can show you the amount of prompts that I used to actually come to this point. And it has been 15 AI edits and 20 messages. So that's not a lot. Like it's just 20 minutes of work and you already got this, a pretty good interface. So we have some tags, we have a description. And this is really cool because we can now say accept or reject. So let's say I, I like this, we can say accept and we have accepted it. And this will be used as input for our AI agents to actually understand what kind of content we like and what kind of content we don't really like. And based on that, it will come up with better ideas every time. Let me now show you what the logs look like. We go to cloud and you can see here that we have idea feedback. So do we approve or reject an idea? All the ideas are stored in here and we have our edge functions. So this is basically our AI agent overview. We have some agent that orchestrates the AI agents. We have a script writer. We have a script writer. We have a SEO optimizer, a thumbnail generator, a trend research and a YouTube research. And all of this is working together because of this orchestrator agent. So if we can click on this, we can first see the amount of successful runs. So everything is going well, but we can also view the logs. We have no errors here. It started the orchestration for a specific channel and we can add some more logging in here as well so we can better see how they are working together. But the fact that this is already working, it's blowing my mind. We did not do any manual work. It's getting so easy and you need to understand that this is the way we are heading. This is the direction. And I'm pretty sure within a year, this will be overpowered. You can really create any agent that you need just in a few prompts. You can add a front end to it. So I'm a really big fan of this really try to play around with this, see what the limits are. And I think this is not the limit yet. I think it's one very interesting use case, but I think we can do lots more with this. So thank you for watching my complete video. I really appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed it, if you have learned anything from it, please don't hesitate to give me a like and a subscribe because I'm really grateful for it. I see you in the next one.